Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you all are doing good today. So today is Thursday. It is November 17th. It is about 12, 10 in the afternoon. I just got home. I had to run some errands. And of course, the one day that I had to run errands, we're in the middle of a snowstorm. So that was fun, but I just got back. I made it fine, okay. This is gonna be my first winter with my new car. So today was kind of like the test for that and things went okay. It was pretty slick out, not gonna lie, but all things considered, everything went okay. I brought the dogs with me so we were able to go on a little C-A-R-R-I-D-E. So yeah, I am starting another vlog and I have a lot of stuff to show you. I decorated for Christmas. I got a whole new tree, which I took footage of us putting that up. Um, I My old tree, I gave it away to my sister because it was just too big for me in my house and there was just no room. So I went and got a slimmer one with not as wide of, of a bottom. So I put my tree up, I'm decorated for Christmas. There's a lot of stuff that has changed in my house because my boyfriend is here now. So we've been trying to just like get organized and get you know, our lives set up basically. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of like house updates that I need to show you guys. It's still like a work in progress, but one of them is my living room. I have these two huge speakers in my living room now. So yeah, this is what my living room looks like now. We have his TV now, so it's a much bigger TV. And we just have like the big speakers in here now. So my living room does look a little bit different in that sense. And we just moved like some pictures and stuff around and things like that. So we've just been really busy. Last Thursday, we actually went to a concert. It was my first time ever seeing Ginger in concert. And I'm not like, you know, I don't know all of her songs. I'm not like a diehard fan or anything. The only reason I wanted to go is because I wanted to see it for myself to see if she could truly sing like that and she can. Like, it was it was some of the most amazing talent that I've ever fucking seen in my life. It was insane. It was awesome. So I'll probably include that footage of the concert. But before we do that, we actually have a sponsor for today's vlog and I'm really excited. So the sponsor of today's vlog is Dossier and I'm going to insert that sponsorship right now. If you guys do not know what Dossier is by now, then girl, Guys, girls, everything in between, let me tell you right now. Dossier is an online perfume company that makes designer-inspired fragrances at a more than fair price. They have fragrances on there for men, women, unisex, everything. They are vegan, paraben-free, all of that good stuff, and all of their perfumes range from $29 to $39, which is a steal compared to the department store prices for high-end perfumes. They know what they're doing over there at Dossier because all of their designer inspired fragrances smell exactly like the real thing and I can't wait to share this one with you because I'm so excited about this one. So the scent that I got this month is Floral Honeysuckle and this is inspired by Gucci Bloom's perfume. I like Gucci, Gucci for, for like $29, that's amazing. So when you get your order, everything comes in this little box right here and you do get a little card inside that tells you the name of the scent, what it's inspired by, the concentration, the notes, all of that good stuff. And inside is where the magic happens. You get a full 50 milliliter bottle of the scent right here. And the packaging is of course really beautiful and minimalistic. So how this works is you go online and you order a fragrance and everything comes in the little box right here. Whip out the 50 milliliter bottle, give it a try, wear it out for a few days, see how you like it. If you like it, awesome. Continue to use the full 50 milliliter bottle. But if you try it and you decide, eh, I don't really like this one as much as I thought I would, that is no problem. Pack everything back in the little box that it came in. Head over onto their website to the return section, print out a shipping label, send back your order, no questions asked to get a full refund. So really, really cool. The I have discovered scents that I absolutely love. I've tried scents that I've always wanted to try and they smell so good. Literally morning, noon, and night, I am putting perfume on myself. It is like a ritual to me now. I always smell good. Mm. Mm. Just a bougie, bougie girl. I love it. 
And they also have a really, really cool payment method now. If you go and order a perfume on Dossier, at the end of checkout, if you select catch, you will get a $10 sign-on bonus and 10% off all future Dossier orders, which is super cool and super exciting. I'll have all the information down in the description box for you guys. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video and for continuing to work with me. I absolutely love you guys and what you guys do. I think it is amazing. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this vlog. Make sure you guys go and check out the links and stuff down in the description box. I would greatly appreciate it. And now to liven things up a little bit, I'm going to show you the concert footage that we went to. It was Ginger, Space of Variations, Vended, and P.O.D. So there was a lot of shows. They were all really good. There's a horrible war in our country right now. Our families are hiding in the bomb shelters. Our friends are fighting for freedom, for right to choose, for progressive part of the world. What war teach me? First, there will be never better time than here and now. Never. Second, nothing is more important than your family and your loved ones. Nothing. No fucking career. No goals. It, it's all not real. Please, give me a favor. After this show, if at least someone will do it, it will be our win. Please, write to your loved ones. That say to them that you love them. Write to your family, message them, call them, say to them directly, whatever you want. Because this life can end in every minute. And they need to know it. You need to know it. We all need to know it. Guys, we love you right here and right now. Stand with Ukraine, but the main, stand with people who are suffering and who need your help. Please, thank you.
Um, I did go and get some Mickey D's, so I think I'm just gonna like chill, relax a little bit, eat my McDonald's, watch some TV, and then I work the rest of the week, and then next week is Thanksgiving already, which is absolutely insane to me. I decided to get a hot fudge sundae, I got my large Coke, and my usual two cheeseburger meal. Usually I get like the Big Mac, meal but i've been really feeling the two cheeseburger meal lately so, yeah i'm gonna eat that and i'll probably vlog again in a little bit and just show you guys like some more changes but i just there's been a lot there's been a lot going on and there's a lot i need to update you guys on but yeah i just wanted to start another vlog and say hi to you guys because i feel like it's been a while it's it's i feel like it's harder to vlog now now that I'm like doing more in life, which is kind of weird because you figure like if I'm doing more with in my life, I would vlog it, but it's all very kind of like personal, you know, so I don't know, but I guess whenever I'm bored and feel like jabbering my jaws, I'll, um, I'll vlog again, but I just, <laughs> I just wanted to say hi and I miss you guys and welcome to another vlog. Let's have some fun.
Holy shit. <laughs> we got like over six inches of snow last night. And I have to drive to work right now. What the fuck? The snow was literally like above my knees. Just walking to my car. Tis the season, I guess. But um, hopefully I make it to work safe. Because it's looking a little sketchy right now. It's Saturday morning. It's 721 in the morning. Saturday, November 19th. And yesterday on my way to work, they didn't plow the back roads. They were only focusing on the highways. Today, they're not doing the back roads. So, it's a good thing I have uh, all wheel drive now because <laughs> this thing is going to need it. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, here's, to, uh, here's to an interesting drive ahead of me. <sighs> I made it. All wheel drive is amazing. <sighs> All right, let's go to work. Cheap. 
Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. Good job. That was good boy. Can I trim this one? Good job. Uh -uh. Almost done. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh my gosh, look at all those toys and you have your hedgehog. Oh, is that your favorite? Is that your favorite toy? What you got, honey? You got a mummy? Jackal, get a toy. Get a toy. You guys definitely have your favorites, huh? Look at all these toys. Oh my gosh, we have this one. We have a hot dog. That's you, honey. The hot dog. Got a football, right? And you got a ducky and a piggy and a dragon and an alligator and a ghosty. Just a sea of toys, huh, Jackalberry? <gasps> Look, your turtle! <laughs> what about your turtle? Wow. You're good at that.
Um, sir. Get away from my food. Ow. <laughs> Get away from my food. That is not for puppies. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today is Saturday. It is November 26. It is about 8.51 in the morning. I am currently just putting some makeup on because I'm going to film a couple of videos today. Ugh, I should I probably shouldn't have put makeup on today because my skin like feels very sensitive today. I, I think it's because like I wore a full beat um, a couple days ago and I don't wear makeup very often so now when I do wear makeup, more often, if that makes sense, my skin just gets very angry. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's been a week since I last vlogged. Thanksgiving week was very busy. I had work, and then obviously Thanksgiving was the 24th. I didn't vlog any of it because I was at my boyfriend's mom's house, and I don't, I don't know, I just, I don't feel comfortable vlogging you know, family stuff. So, uh, yeah, I was there for Thursday. I was there for Thursday. I was there on Thursday for Thanksgiving. The food was so good. Oh my lanta. I, like, I don't eat very much, but I think this is the first year in many years that I literally went and got a second plate of food. Like, the food was so good. Oh my god, the turkey was, like, tender and delicious. The mashed potatoes were on point. The stuffing was like 20 out of 10. It was phenomenal. Like I, like my mouth is watering right now. Like I want more. It was so good. And then after, you know, we did the whole pretty much food coma nap thing and had some apple pie and ice cream. And before I knew it, it was really, really late. So I just decided to stay the night there. Um, I did have my dogs with me, by the way. I, I did bring them. I didn't leave them at home for 24 hours alone. So I brought my dogs with me. They got to have some turkey, and they got to hang out, and they were very good. So yeah, and then I came home Friday, yesterday. Uh, came home Friday morning, and just kind of got caught up on some stuff. And now it is Saturday, and I am getting ready to film which I really need to get back in the habit of doing because I just don't have like time to film as often as I did and that is like really upsetting and it really hurts my heart but you know whenever I get the time I try to take full advantage of it so I still have to show you guys some like updates that I've done to my house just like moving some pictures around and stuff because if I could duplicate this wing to this eye but that's probably not gonna happen. And I know a lot of people are asking like, you know, why aren't you searching for a house yet? Because we are waiting to do that kind of thing because the market isn't really a buyer's market at the moment. Everything is kind of like way too expensive and we are still trying to agree on an area where we wanna live because we cannot come to an agreement on that, which has been very frustrating. We've just been navigating some, you know, issues, but yeah, we're not in any rush to buy at the moment. Um, we're just kind of waiting, but for now we're just trying to make this place where I live right now as comfortable as possible. Oh, also an update on my Labray piercing. I have had it for about six weeks now, six, seven weeks, and it's doing okay. I feel like it's definitely very, very slow healing. Like, I, it's not healing as fast as I would like it to, but, like, one thing that I noticed about it that's, like, really <laughs> kind of gross, and I noticed this, um, I think one of the first times I would put makeup on is it, like, during the day, the piercing will like rub and then it creates like a big red circle where there's no foundation anymore. So it like makes, it just makes the piercing look really gross and crusty. Like, can you guys see that red ring? 
like, <laughs> it looks infected, but that's because there's no foundation there. So it, it looks really bad. So the piercing definitely looks better um, when I don't wear makeup, definitely 100%. Because when I do have makeup on and you can like see that red ring, <sighs> you know, like even when I try to cover it up, you know, it's still just <laughs> like, it's so gross. It's so ugly. But yeah, other than that, it's doing really well. Uh, it's nesting really nicely. Yeah, I don't know if like any of you guys experience that. Like when I have, when I had my Monroe Pierce with this one, I never had that. But for whatever reason, like when I, when I wear makeup with my Labre piercing, it looks disgusting. Okay, so I think this is all the makeup that I'm going to do. I might try on like some of the lip colors because I'm doing like a Jeffree Star Cosmetics unboxing. And I might try some of the lip colors, but as far as like the makeup, I think this is all I'm going to wear on my face today. I need to go downstairs and work on my hair, the bangs. So as you can see, they are kind of out of control, so I need to straighten these bad boys, put some dry shampoo in them. So I'm going to head down there and do that. So here is the before and after. So I tried to like straighten them, kind of like poof them up a little bit. Um, yeah, just put some dry shampoo in. So yeah, the hair is done and now I am ready to film. I'm going to film a couple of videos and then just edit do this vlog. I'm gonna get to filming and I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so it's now 11 o'clock in the morning. I was only able to film one video and then I had to stop because my neighbor's kids decided to um, bang on the walls and be obnoxious little fucks. So I had to stop, and I'm just gonna wait a little while. Usually they leave on Saturdays. Like, they're, they're usually not here very often. I feel like the mom of those children is very, like, social. Like, they, they're always leaving. So hopefully they will leave in the next couple hours and I can finish filming and doing my job because it's just, it's frustrating. But um, I'm taking a break right now. I'm watching the last episode in the Shane and Jeffrey series, the Doomsday Palette. So I just started that and I'm just kind of watching that. But I figured I would show you guys one of the biggest changes in my house. So you're probably noticing that I have no more Marilyn Monroe pictures hanging in my house. I have officially taken them all down. I got rid of them. I donated. I'm just kidding. Ah! just kidding um no I did actually take them all down but I did something different with them and this is something I was like so skeptical about doing because I didn't know if it would look good and me and my boyfriend spent like an hour and a half like figuring out like a really cute way to like display them so if you go around my house now it's mostly just like family photos and you know other things like that and the Marilyn Monroe pictures, we actually moved them and dedicated her own personal space. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So we are in my dining room now, as you can see. I'm going to adjust the lighting here. We also took down my antique mirror that I had hanging here. Um, and we actually put up this Salvador Dali picture. This was my boyfriend's. He loves Salvador Dali and he wanted to hang this up. So we have this in my dining room now. The antique mirror has been moved upstairs to my bedroom. So we have this one here and all of my Marilyn Monroe pictures. Are you guys ready for this? Holy shit. Ta -da! Look at my dining room, you guys. Look at this. So. Marilyn Monroe officially has her own dedicated wall. So if you guys remember, I used to have Marilyn Monroe pictures literally all throughout my house in my living room, my bedroom, laundry room, everything. And we wanted more room for like art, family photos, but I didn't want to take down my Marilyn pictures. So we decided to take them all down, organize them on the floor. Once we found a layout that worked, we dedicated the entire dining room wall to just Marilyn Monroe. Look how insane this looks. 
I was so unsure about how this was going to look, but I actually really like how it turned out. I think it looks really, really good. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think of this. I was afraid that it was going to look too cluttered. I was afraid it was going to look too messy, but the more that I look at it and the more that I see it, I really like it. Uh, a great majority of these are hung up with command strips. And I was also really nervous about that because I didn't know if that they would like stick or be strong enough. But yeah, so Marilyn Monroe has all been moved to one wall. I still have quite a few Marilyn Monroe pictures that I have that didn't get hung up. Um, we're still, like I said, organizing and getting our life together. But this is probably one of the biggest changes in here is the Marilyn Monroe wall in my dining room. So yeah, that's uh, that's what my dining room is looking like now. What do you guys think of it? I had, before I had like a clock and a couple like smaller pictures on that wall and we took those down. We moved the clock that was in here. We moved that right there. I'm someone who like really struggles with change. I don't do well with change. So to like take everything down and like change things up, I was like, <laughs> like it, it's, just, it's just, it's been wild. So I think the only other thing we really have to do is, um, we have to just get more pictures like artwork and some more like family photos. And then up in my bedroom, we made a couple changes as well. So since my boyfriend is living here with me now, I didn't have room to like store all of his clothes because I mean he would stay here quite a bit and I had like a couple drawers he could use but once he like officially like came in and like moved everything in there was just not enough room so we decided to order like a whole another dresser and we set that up all of his clothes organized and here is what my bedroom looks like now so we have the other dresser there I used to have my rocking chair there so we have that dresser that matches this one. So this dresser right here, the longer one is all of my clothes. And then he has his own dedicated dresser for all of his clothes. So this is another kind of like big change. The rocking chair has been moved into my filming room. Uh, that rocking chair is like a family heirloom and I refuse to get rid of it. So I moved that into my office for now and now we just have all the dressers with some stuff. We also moved um, his girl in here. Uh, this was his dog, Josie. Uh, she passed away, oh gosh, quite a, like 10 years ago, I think. So we just have her little paw print and her collar there on display. I just thought that was really cute and yeah, just some pictures and stuff like that. So I really like the way this looks. I think it looks really cool. Everything is put away and organized now. And then the rocking chair, this is my filming room. The rocking chair is just moved into this corner for now. Um, I don't know if it's gonna stay there. I really kinda wanna like revamp and redo my filming room, but I don't know what I wanna do with it yet. It's like, I like the setup of it, but at the same time, I feel like it's still a little bit too cluttered. You know what I mean? So yeah, everything is just such a work in progress, but in my bedroom, it's, it's so weird cause like, all the Marilyn pictures are down. Like the only artwork we have hanging is that one right there and this one. Um, but yeah, all the Marilyn pictures have been taken down. So it looks kind of sad and bare in here right now, but yeah. And then we just moved the mirror there. I can't really use it cause I'm so short. Like if I try to look in this mirror, you can only see the top of my head. So, you know, that's fun, but we just moved that here for decoration and we have this like bigger, you know, longer body mirror right there. But, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Marilyn Monroe wall. I think it, it's just, it's so different and I've never done anything like that before, but I think it, I think it turned out really well and all the other little changes and stuff. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else, but maybe I am, I don't really know. So yeah, I've just, it's just been crazy here. So I'm gonna finish watching this video and then hopefully I will be able to finish filming my other videos that I wanna finish. So, and then I think I'll probably end this vlog today because it's already pretty long. So yeah, I'm gonna get to finishing this and I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. 
Hey guys, so it is now about 5 after 6 in the evening. I just took a shower. Hopefully you can see me okay. The lighting is a little off. It's already pitch black outside. Welcome to winter. Um, I was gonna end out this vlog here, and as I was taking my dogs out to go poop, um, I got a PR package from none other than Laura Mercier. I didn't make an order on Laura Mercier at all. I am shocked, honestly, because I thought they took me off their PR list at least a year ago. Like, I haven't gotten PR from any company in a very long time. So I'm actually very surprised that I got this and it was just sitting on my front door and I was like, what the heck is this? Like, I thought it was like a wrong delivery, like a wrong address, but it has my name on it. And I can't even believe this right now. I don't, <laughs> that's, I mean, I'm so grateful. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm just like shocked because I thought they weren't like sending me PR anymore, but apparently they are. So, uh, so weird. But yeah, I finished filming all my videos for the day and then I wanted to take a shower to get the makeup off. I shaved everything, even my arms, so my arms are silky smooth now. Feeling good, feeling nice and clean. Uh, the rest of the night, I'm probably just gonna like do some laundry and just chill, just watch TV. Tonight is my last night that I can stay up because I tomorrow's Sunday and I work the rest of the week, so... Yeah, but, wow, what what a way to end out this vlog. This is so unexpected. So, okay. So right when you open it up, here's the box, and then right on top it says, Happy Holidays, Brienne, with, like, QR code and everything. That is insane. And then it says, Enjoy this assortment from Laura Mercy's Wrapped with Love Holiday Collection. That is really cool. I'm so, I can't believe this. Like, thank you so much. That's insane. And then it looks like there's just, like, a little pamphlet with, like, the products that they have for the holidays, that's really exciting, really cool. Gosh, it's been so long since I've opened up any sort of PR. So here's what everything looks like on the inside. Just a little nice wrap package. Oh, okay, so we have two products in here. Oh, that's cute. It's like little ornaments. They are freezing cold. Uh, because this has been sitting outside for a while, because I didn't even know this was here. So it looks like this first little one. Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, so this little itty bitty box right here, with little ornament. This is a little sample size of the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder, and but this is in translucent honey. I do have the big version of this and I absolutely love it. Laura Mercier setting powders are literally the only setting powders that I wear. So, oh my gosh, yeah, and it's just, it's just a cute little guy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at that. And then this is of course in, in the shade honey right there. And I do, this is a really good color on me. I usually wear the honey in like the spring and the summer, but yeah, it's just like a little sample size of powder. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. You remembered me. <gasps> I feel so honored. That's so nice. Like, what the heck? And then this second little package here, it says $28, but this is a $56 value. That's expensive. And this is the Heart of gl Glass? Lip glass duo I, what's what is that lip of lip of what what the fuck does that say i can't pronounce that word but it looks like we have two little lip glosses in here that's so cute okay so wow holy guac that's crazy so this first one is like a nice little like nudie pink color hopefully you can see that okay but it has like little gold reflex in it and this is in the shade Sugar Plum. So that's really nice. I would put some on, but I literally like just cleaned my face and did everything, but oh my gosh, that's so nice. This one, holy, is this really a lip gloss? This has gotta be like a topper or something, cause that's insane. This one is in the shade Starlight, and like, oh my goodness. Look at all of that glitter. I feel like this would be a good topper. I mean, maybe it'll look good on its own, but yeah, that's that's pretty intense. It's definitely more like very gold in person. 
I don't know if you guys can see like all the glitter moving around in there, but that's crazy. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we just got a couple cute little gifts from Laura Mercier, a little travel size setting powder and two little lip glosses. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking nice. Thank you so much, Laura Mercier. That's amazing. So the Heart of Glass, the little lip gloss duo, this is $28 and it says housed in a beautifully dressed gift box, this glossy Lip Glass Duo delivers high shine glossy pigmented lips in just one application. Available in Sugar Plum and New Shade Starlight, you can ensure your lips are icing on the cake this festive season. Sugar Plum is a warm plum shade shot through with a shimmering note of golden pearl, while Starlight gilds lips in a sheer glossy iridescence. So that is the little lip gloss duo and okay. The little Token of Affection Translucent Loose Setting Powder Ornament. This is $13. Enhance your holiday decor with Laura Mercier's Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This travel size icon is wrapped up in limited edition, wrapped with love packaging inspired by the decadence and elegance of the holiday season. Available in Translucent and Translucent Honey. I got translucent honey. So those are all of the little gifts and everything. So yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna be chilling the rest of the night. I finished the um, last episode of the Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star documentary and it was so good. I literally almost cried. I was like this close to crying. It was really good. And it actually led me to watch all of the old series that he did with Jeffrey, so I'm probably just gonna listen to that while I do some cleaning and stuff. And I think that's where I'm actually gonna close out this vlog because I need to get it up and edited and make sure, you know, everything goes good with that so I can get this video up for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did and you wanna continue to see more vlogs, please let me know down in the comments and give this video a huge thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you wanna see more vlogs or more videos that I upload, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button down at the bottom. I would also greatly appreciate it. But as the rest of you, I love you so very much. Thank you for hanging out with me. I had a really good time vlogging again and just talking with you guys and I will see you all very soon in the next one. I love you all. Bye! Mwah.